Good morning, everybody. We decided to do a last minute video today. Eric was like, start the camera. I was like, oh, say no more. So we've had a pretty chill morning. I have to do a little bragging. So last night, Zen, I was rocking him in my arms and he was like drowsy. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to lay him in his bassinet because previously he doesn't like that when he's drowsy and I lay him down, he wakes up, but it's a new day. And so, you know, I was like, I'm just going to give it a go. So, laid this little chunker in his bassinet right there by the bed and he just was chilling. He had his little passy in his mouth and I was kind of like, it's kind of funny, I like, I manually like will kind of like rock the bassinet even though if that's, if you're not, it's not meant to do that, but I do it and it moves him. And then that little nugget just fell asleep and he slept from 10 to 4.30. And then I, I changed his diaper and nursed him and then he went back to sleep. And then uh, we slept until 8.30, so feeling like a new woman. Hair is gonna go back up. Then likes to grab on my hair now. Ponytail it is. Chopstick. We got our avocado toast this morning. What am I walking over here for? No idea. Hi, bud. Hello. This is his uh, one of his new tan onesies, the tan one, the Cocoli, Cocoli. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a little big, which is why the zipper is going up in his face. But he can grow into it, right, bud boys? Right, bud. I'm really trying to work on my water intake. This hydro jug is half a gallon, and two of these equals one gallon. Probably gonna feed Zen here soon and put him down for a little afternoon nap. What? <coughs> Here's a snack for you. Thank you, wife. Mm. It's a heart if you can't tell. Oh. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. Love it. Bon Larry. <laughs> hey, bud. Hi. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Hey, Hey. Well, you gonna talk to grandma? You gonna talk to grandma? You ready to come swimming at grandma's again? Mm hmm. We got his swim stuff. Is at the parcel pending? We gotta go pick it up. Oh, okay. Cool. What's up, Krusty Crew? Trying to be quiet because Zen is sleeping over there with Cody. And I'm on my lunch break. First things first, the fresh cut. I found a barber who I really like in Costa Mesa. Really happy with it. I am about to do some yoga on my lunch. Not sure what I'm gonna eat yet, but I feel really out of shape. Cody does too, but she doesn't feel like doing it right now. We're both gonna try to do this a little bit more see how it goes. Yeah, let's get this yoga set. That was uh, difficult. I, uh, my body feels tight. Feeling like a dad. An out of shape dad. That's okay. I'm gonna keep pushing at it. Ultimately, I do enjoy yoga. But, done with that. So, Cody, my amazing wife, made me these vegan spicy chicken patties and cut them up like I am a five-year-old. Maybe I am. But that's my lunch and she's also warming me up some frozen veggies. Thank you very much, wife. I'm not sure if Cody said this already, but it's like super freaking hot outside. It's like, a, I think it's supposed to be a high of 87 today. And uh, it gets hot here, but rarely that hot, I feel, in, in Newport. <laughs> You're so close to the camera. Yeah, how do you guys like my face? Zen woke up from his nap. So I rocked, or I fed Zen and then I rocked him. And it was so hot, so I had to put him down in his bassinet. Usually I just let him sleep. For his naps, I just let him sleep on me. And I put him down in his bassinet, and it seems like for his naps, he only sleeps like 
what it's been like 30 minutes not even he doesn't take long naps on his bat in his bassinet but when he sleeps on me he sleeps for like two hours he gets a good nap in so but it was just so hot i had to put him down i was sweating we did turn the air on he'll we, go back to sleep we hardly ever use the air because we don't need to yeah but we're using the air right now i have to say something zen is going to be 10 weeks tomorrow tomorrow and I feel like this week has been the biggest turning point in his sleeping habits. Yeah, yeah. And, and just his, his temperament. Yeah. He's just been he, happy when he's awake. He's been going to sleep when he gets tired instead of fighting it. Really, yeah, hopefully really we don't jinx it, but he was definitely like, you know, signs of colic are like getting, getting crabby and cranky at the same times every day, which is what his was, which was in the evening time. I don't know, he just kind of like hasn't been, and he's been kind of like just napping at that time instead of being crabby. Yeah. But we know every day's not gonna be perfect, right, Bubba? Every day is different. Hmm. Every day is different, huh? Who is that? Bubby, look. <laughs> Who is that cute baby? Ah. Oh. Oh, also, actually, you know what I think woke him up from his nap? <laughs> I think he has to poop. <laughs> Did you just hear him yeah, grunt? Yeah, that noise? Yeah, he's pushing. That noise. It's come to the time of the week where I'm just like craving something yummy. Even though we literally had Chipotle twice. I think I'm going to try to get him to go to sleep again. What's up, gang? I don't even remember the last thing I filmed. I think it was yoga. Yeah. I just ate my lunch like four hours ago. Wow. I'm off work and I had to go out to get Addie dog food because she's a special dog who needs special food. And when I got in the car, my car said it was 99 degrees. But then it went down as I was driving, but it never got below 90, so... And I decided to be like, you know what, gas is expensive. I'm gonna roll with the windows down. I did that, and I'm sweaty now. So, I pretty much spent the afternoon trying to get Zen to nap. Honestly, I think he slept so good last night that he did not want to nap today. It's not like he was crabby or anything. He was just literally chilling. Finally... He's been napping on me for I don't even know how long now, but um, I watched Cinderella Story with Hilary Depp and Chad Michael Murray. Is that his face last name? Murray. Murray. Whatever. But I'm sweating. Once he wakes up, it's five now. Once he wakes up, I say we go for a walk. Is it really gonna die if he's stroke? But it's only gonna get cooler, right, gang? They said yes. I can cook dinner right now. What? I can cook dinner right now, and then we can eat. You can? Yeah. And right. then, I, and then, I triple dog dinner. Okay, then we go for a walk after. Say it to the cam. No, you say you're going to cook dinner. I already said it. I'm cooking dinner. I. She acts like I never cook. I do. All right, let's go cook dinner. All right, guys, so I'm about to cook dinner, but I noticed that the dishwasher was full. I just took the trash out, and I'm going to put these dishes away. I already got some in hand. Let's do this. Fast motion. One, two, three, go. Boom, done. What was my time? 30 seconds, sweet. I'm gonna cook, but let me gather the materials and I'll show you. All right guys, so first thing we have is some frozen chicken tenderloins. First thing I'm gonna do is these sweet potatoes. I'm probably gonna use all these. I know this looks like a lot, but I'm probably gonna use them all. And then to season the sweet potatoes, garlic powder, a little bit of cayenne, just because we like spice, Pam, and of course, a little bit of salt on the potatoes. And then for the chicken, we're going to do this Montreal chicken from McCormick, and salt, black pepper, maybe a little bit of garlic powder on there too, and this. Then, lastly, we are going to have these Simply Steam Antioxidant Blend Veggie Mix, lightly sauced. And then everything I'm making, I'm going to be making in our trusty air fryer right here. The um, only thing is I can only make them one at a time. So I'm going to cut up the potatoes, cook them. While that's doing its thing, I'm going to thaw the chicken, cut the chicken, season the chicken, and then have it ready to put in when the potatoes are done. I 
don't really want to use this for oil. We don't have canola oil. And you can only use certain oils in this air fryer, apparently. So, this is going to be fun. I'm going to spray and toss and spray and toss and spray and toss. So let's get it. Now for the seasoning, salt, eyeballing it, whoops, okay, garlic, let's shake it up, last but not least, a little bit of cayenne pep, look at the beauty, okay, so cut all that up, now it's time to pop them in the air fryer, so it's going to take about 15 minutes, cook them at 400. <laughs> So now that that's going, I'm gonna thaw the frozen chicken. Chicken is thawed. I'm gonna show you guys a little trick that maybe you didn't know about chicken tenderloins. Highly recommend if you don't know about this because it'll make your chicken eating experience a 10 out of 10 instead of a 9 out of 10. What I'm gonna do here is see this little tendon right here. Chewy and annoying when you're eating chicken. We're gonna remove that. So all you do is you get a fork, paper towel, put the tendon in between one of the fork slots, wrap it with the paper towel, and you pull, and just like that, it comes out. Boom. Another one. Do not put these down your garbage disposal. Maybe most people know that, but I didn't know that, and it messed up our garbage disposal. Now, we just wanna cut up this chicken, just small, little bite-sized pieces. So now that all that's done, we're gonna put all this chicken in this bowl, spray it, and season it, and toss it around. We're gonna go kinda heavy on this Montreal chicken, because it's the best, and it adds all the flavors. A little bit more, a little bit of salt here, a little bit of pepper, black pepper. A little bit of this cayenne, nothing crazy. Look at the beauty. Potatoes are done, let's check them out. Like I said, we like them a little well done. To keep those warm, I'm gonna put them in this bowl right here and put them in the microwave. Now, I'm gonna dump the chicken in the air fryer. So these are gonna take about 15 minutes to cook and we're gonna put it on bake. So if you're trying to follow along, put it on bake if you have that setting. 15 minutes at 360 degrees. We got done chicken in the house. Cody's divvying it up. We also have the veggies done in the microwave. We have a hell of potatoes. Nobody needs this many potatoes, but we do. We do. And we're gonna top it off with some P.F. Chang's teriyaki sauce and water for our drink. We need to go grocery shopping. We're still doing uh, dairy free for the most part. Not dairy free, but definitely dairy conscious. We could totally be having more cheese, totally. Where was I going with that? I don't know, we need to go grocery shopping. Oh, I need to go grocery, sh we need to go grocery shopping. And we've been trying to eat healthy-ish, but man, I'm gonna be honest, I've been craving those beers or just anything, because we've been eating pretty bland the past like three, since we had that chipotle. Bland. Um, this is not bland. Well, you know what? Uh, it's not bland. It's, it's actually gonna be good. Yeah, we have. We still are eating avocado You're toast with something. eggs. You're just yes. something. Yeah. Let me know if you tried this recipe. Let us know. We have our portions all messed up, like <laughs> in a serious way. It's okay. Eric said he wanted pizza. We have a really yummy pizza place right too close by called Fresh Brothers, and Eric was like, you know what sounds good? Pizza, that pizza. Which it does, but we're having this, look at, we're having this instead. For real, we might have to pop off on pizza this weekend. Here is the finished result. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Hope you enjoyed this day of randomness and heat. Also, we're not going on a walk because no. the night just got away from us and that happens. But we're gonna try to watch Shrek 2. But guys, again, thanks for watching. I appreciate you, we appreciate you so much. Every single one of you viewing, liking, subscribing, all of you, seriously, are amazing. We'll see you guys in the next video. Love you, bye bye.